What is it good for? Absolutely. Ain't nothing but a heartbreaker. And the undertaker. Wow. Listen, the first thing I want to say is my heart and my prayers. Uh go out to the people of Florida, more specifically uh, Fort Myers. Oh, boy. It, it, it's so devastating, you guys. Oh, uh, uh, my goodness. It's it's really scary. I anyway, it's in there's a there's this photo of Fort Myers being completely devastated. The uh, just just wiped out. I don't think it can be put back together. I um. It's going to take some years. It's going to take a lot of years. Um, there's incredible footage that is being released by storm chasers who were tracking the eye of the hurricane um, as it's landing to Florida's coast. And the lungs, the ball, Fort Myers. Footage shot over several hours, but nearly edited into a two minute and a half video catches a stretch of highway close to the beach before the 15 foot storm surge came ashore, washing away wooden buildings. It is an apocalyptic scene. It is it's an apocalyptic scene. Wow. For residents of Fort Myers, some of whom must know that they may never return to the place they once called home. The current number of fatalities is only expected to grow as rescue teams dive in and assess the damage. According to the officials, there have been a hundred deaths recorded in Florida and four more. Oh Lord. In North Carolina. The eye water insurance industry projection includes estimated wind, storm surge. Oh God, people go water. And inland flood losses. Returning from in landfalls in both Florida and South Carolina. If you guys get a chance to go to dailymail.com, they just put up a time lapse video and it's going to show you waves of up to 15 feet. This is crazy. Oh my God, my heart go out to y'all, your families. Floridians, I, I don't know what to say. This is a, America is a, it's going down in more ways than one. The eye water and insurance industry projection include estimated windstorm surge and inland flood losses resulting from Ian landfall in both Florida and South Carolina. Additionally, an estimated 600 465,000 homes and businesses were still without power in Florida on Monday after Hurricane Ian crashed across the state. Damn. It's really horrible, you guys. It's really horrible. And you really have to see for yourself. 
don't have it. Again, DailyMail.com, they have a incredible time lapse video. And if y'all see these waves, it's like anybody that's some the people that survive, you, you're lucky. And the whole town is look like it is devastated. It looks like Katrina. Worse. What's going on, you guys? What's going on? Okay. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. I, I, I'll see you in the next video. God.